So in order to do custom reports with an attempted, they have to be set up by your account manager over at Attentive. So you'll need to have a conversation with them around some of the custom reports that they, that they are able to set up on their end, as well as some of your wish lists and requests. But I wanna walk you through the four custom reports that I have set up in every single Attentive account that I use. So first is journey performance versions. This allows you to see which version of your journey, as well as what the journey name is in terms of performance, which I find a lot easier to digest instead of looking at it on an automated message performance basis. So what we can do here then, implement a pivot table for the rows, we can have journey name and version. We can have, and then we can populate all of our values as well. So let's say we only want to look at revenue. And again, just make sure that you remove this total because that will mess up your pivot table. So this just gives you a high level overview then of your journey performance. And if you want to, you can break it down by versions as well to see, okay, like version, let's see here, version two and three really didn't run that month. But if you did have two different versions and you wanted to compare the performance, you could do that as well. Next is the journey message performance. So you have your standard like automated message performance that comes with attentive natively, but it's not as sort of crisp, I would say, in terms of being able to break it down into where that is actually coming from. Because if you look at your automated message performance report, you don't have a column that shows you which journey it's coming from. So this then allows me to come in here and create a pivot table. And again, scroll down and delete that total column allows me to come in here and let's change this formatting to dollars. We are going to insert a pivot table, but now I can see where the message is coming from and it's sorted by journey so that way i'm it seems minute but i'm able to assess the performance of just a customer win back flow in the individual texts that are coming out from within there versus the other way where just all of these automated messages are looped together very difficult so again i can pull in the values that i want to look at so let's say i want to look at revenue i can see here automatically that, okay, the first person customer went back message to $300 in revenue, third person, hundred. Let's maybe plug this into a statistical significance calculator, see if this one should just be turned off altogether. Same would go for here. First person image, 583 in revenue, first person text only, 177. Is that statistically significant? Plug that in. And this is just like a really easy way to monitor your A-B tests that you currently have running in your SMS journeys. And then let's scroll down here. We can see GIF versus no GIF. Really nothing substantial here of note. And so we'll let those keep running for now. Next is going to be your creative monthly performance. So you have standard out of attentive your email signups and SMS signups, but you don't have the percent capture rate. And so this isn't as relevant for this particular client because we just turned off their AB test because the timer on both mobile and desktop outperformed a scroll. So what we were testing is doing a timer delay pop-up versus doing a scroll pop-up. So if you scroll like 40% of the page, then the pop-up comes, but this allows you to look at the email capture rate as well as the SMS capture rate. And so if we were doing an A-B test, let's say theoretically that row two 
was the scroll and row three was the timer, come in here and see, oh, wow, like row two far outperforms email capture rate as well as SMS capture rate. Let's look at whether or not this is statistically significant and then probably get rid of this one altogether. And then move on to the next one, which is automated A-B test report. So this just shows you all the A-B test campaigns that you ran in a given month. The reason why this is so crucial is because we want to take this and populate this information into your A-B testing tracker template. And so it's very difficult right now with the main campaign report that you have to be able to pull out campaigns that do or do not have A-B tests. So we requested this one be created, which just pulls out the A-B tests that we run and what they are. So you can see here, based off the message name, I'm able to tell what the test was. So $30 off voucher versus a $30 off gift. And then we can come in here and see what the sample percentage was and which one ended up winning out, which was this one, obviously based off of the fact that it has way more recipients that it was sent to. So those are the four that I will typically get set up in any of the attentive accounts that we're working in. There's a bunch of other customer reports that you can set up too. And it really depends on your use case and the brand. But these are also able to be scheduled as well. You just need to get your account manager over at Attentive to set them up for you.